Smith's team here, the crowd here is ready to go. Had a women's game just before us when Utah beat the Cougars, the Lady Cougars. Starting lineup said, we got a game tonight. And our starting lineup, there's one missing name. Amari Bailey is out tonight for UCLA. A foot problem. Uh, his own really has found a rhythm, but his foot's a little sore right now. So they're just going to give an abundance of caution and safety and let him sit it out, wait till it feels better. Because in this game, you've got to be able to run all day long. And how about just even that jump ball to start the game, the international flavor of this sport, a Dem Bona jumping against Muhammad Gay. <laughs> and Bona's got his work cut out for him here because I was able to watch this team play in the in the Hawaiian tournament there, the Diamond Head, and man, uh, they got a lot of talent. They're big, they're long, they're in incredibly good physical condition. Their biggest challenge is putting points on the board. And here's Justin Powell that, uh, it's one of the biggest loss, and just a reset for people who haven't been able to focus significantly on college basketball yet. Tyrell Roberts was the point guard last year, and that's who Kyle Smith thought would be this year, but he chose to transfer to USF. In San Francisco and there's Washington State turning it over and that's been one thing they've been trying to find find that point goal. It can't be good for Kyle Smith for a player to leave to go to his old school Yes, because Kyle Smith was there for three years. This is his now fourth year. It was wonderful of Kyle's wife Katie to come by with uh, two of their three children. And there's Kyle who turned both those programs around. He did a, he was an assistant for Randy Bennett at St. Mary's. That kind of got him the traction. Did a terrific job at Columbia in the Ivies and then came out to San Francisco. Matched it and as you know, Bill, he's, and he said it again, spoke to him today, and he just says, look, you know me, I'm about analytics, which has become a little bit of an overused word, but it's about smart basketball. Yes, right. <laughs> Shoot the three. And exactly. Mo Gay towering sprained his ankle a little bit in the second of the three games at Diamond Head. What a tournament that was. Technical foul here on Kyle Smith. <laughs> uh. Okay, but that didn't take long. I wonder if Joe's had that happen. 80 seconds in. You said that <laughs> he was an assistant coach for Andy Bennett, right? Yeah. yeah. He was an assistant coach for 18 years. Yes. Now, that is a journey. First head coaching job was at Columbia. And then coming back to USF and then coming up here, he and his family just love it. And I, and I can see why, Ted. I've had a day and a half here in, in the Palouse. The lowest hills, the sedimentary, rolling grasslands. The blowing dust for millions of years. Yeah, trust me, folks, we have an hour and 50 minutes. You're going to see a lot of what Bill just talked about. <laughs> Two shots. I had the, the time of my life. They've got a hotel right here on the edge of campus. Uh, I thought it was 48 years since I had been here, but then somebody yeah. reminded me that I came here. You know, in the late 90s with Arizona. Yeah, you said that. Well, listen, two good things happened. One is the, the worst of the weather was last week up here, so we, we dodged that. And um, thankfully, given that over the oh, top, look at Bona run the floor. That's Bona. A Dem Bona who is just blossoming. Talking to Darren Savino yesterday, the assistant coach, that's what he's talking about. How this guy runs. Here's the perfect example. When you watch him play, get out there. Look at that. That's the way that Sidney Wicks used to run the floor. Really? Oh, for the Bruins. It's yeah. incredible. And Sidney Wicks was the best player in all of college basketball for two years. He won the championship both years. But when you watch Bona, what stands out most to me is how light he is on his feet. He's not that tall. He's, he's more along the lines of a Oscar Sheebway for Kentucky. Bruins own Kentucky these days. I think it's what? Ooh, six out of the last yeah. seven times they played, the Bruins have won that. Right. Well, they hit all parts of the rim there, but still got the ball to go down. Here's this press. The Bruins, they want to get this game going up and down. They've got to hurry. Powell eventually does get it across for the Cougs. And the way that... Jalen Clark can pressure the ball and seemingly without effort. But he's right in the guy's face all the time. 
Well, and there's the thing. That's Muhammad Gay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's his third make out there this year. He's two for 14 coming in. One of the challenges that Kyle Smith has had is that Muhammad Gay, he's, you know, he, he truly believes that he wants, he's going to be a wing player at the NBA level. And so he's been kind of working on that game as opposed to what his team needs is post presence, defense, shot blocking, rebounding. And down, and of course, last year Gay had a chance to kind of ease in because you had F.A. Abagidi here for two years, but Abagidi, one of the three players we referenced from last year's team that are not back. Right, he went to the G League. He's playing for the Henderson G League Ignite. Okay, T.J. Bombas. All right, T.J. Bombas, so five to start for UCLA, and now the Cougs answer with five. Bruins uh, sandwiched uh, two great victories in between the Sisters of the Poor of Denver and UC Davis. But the win at Maryland, the win at MSG, oh, my goodness. And Tigers... Coming around underneath with the reversal. Yeah, the win at Maryland. Even Mick Cronin, when he talked this week, he referenced the win at Maryland doesn't happen because that was so perfect, and there was never any comeback in that game at all. Goodness wow, gracious. Yay. Throw it down, though. One of three players for Kyle Smith who's got the roots in Senegal. So the first five points for the Bruins, and now seven by the Cougs to answer. 10% of the NBA right now was born in Africa or their parents were born in Africa. Is that 10%? 10%. Things are changing. Ooh. Beautiful runner by Tiger. The Tiger there, if that was the veteran play, looked like he tried to draw a little contact. Kyle Smith has a real advantage here. He's got size and length in the backcourt. That's what people try to be most successful with. Yaki from the perimeter. Gay against Bonick. Give it up a little inside. Whoa. And Bamba tried to get it back to Gay on the outside. Gotta grab the ball here. Nice. And look at Bona, and they're fighting with Yakamovsky, but it's the Cougs that come away with it. A Dem Bone has got to use his quickness, got to use his mobility. He's not going to win a, a size and strength game against Mo Gay. Long DJ, DJ Rodman. They got a TJ, a DJ. <laughs> I'm guaranteed to butcher that. Powell, penetration and dish. He dished a bomba for the three. And that was the one thing that UCLA talked about this week happened on that sequence. Missed threes by opponents, the long rebounds that have uh, hurt them a bit. And Washington State had a second chance there. At practice here today, Nick Cronin would just keep, kept saying to the drone. You gotta guard the three-point line and you gotta get defensive rebounds. He didn't seem all that concerned about really winning the game. The Bruins are playing so well in every aspect. Shutting everybody down defensively. A rare miss by Jaden Clark Ooh. there. And there's that little what a lot of people consider to be that top little 12, 13 footer. Rodman hits it. So this is something. This is not 12-2 for the Cougs. This is the Cougar team that I saw on television from Diamond Head. They took fourth. Hawaii won that tournament for the first time ever. Look at the rebounding prowess of Moke. They're going to build a, a monument statue to him. Senegal's got Africa's tallest statue, 160 feet. Wow. Oh, Jalen Clark is that was everywhere. That was a big rebound. Look at Hawkes. Just going, going, muscling, and drawing a foul against Justin Powell of Washington State. That was a long run of uninterrupted ball, almost six minutes before the first stop. We're out here on the edge here in the Palouse Bruins State today in Moscow, Moscow, Idaho. I spent sunrise on the Snake River behind Bona, and so he reclassified and got here last year. Yeah. And how many times did you reclassify out of, out, out of high school? <laughs> Speaking of high school, Coleman has one high school. I didn't know that. They have one high school called Pullman High School, and our friend John Elway spent his freshman year of that high school yes. right here. here in Pullman. I did not know that. I know because, of course, Jack Elway is from 
the state of Washington. Yeah, but he, he was yeah, in he, was, he would have been a coach. He would have been a coach here, but yeah, but he was from uh, Port Angeles, Washington originally. Up by Bernie Fryer territory yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. The streets are Juan de Fuca, right? Yeah. Isn't that where Port I've never been. I've, oh, I, Port Angeles. I worked them. with Jack for a while, and uh, I used to hear the stories about it. So. Well, we're going to be getting closer to Port Angeles yes. as we move tomorrow over to Seattle. The Emerald City in the Evergreen State. Right, we have a foul here on UCLA. Kamani Winsu and uh, Jake Mullins are in out of the timeout for Washington State. So Kamani and Winsu has been just an absolute gem for Kyle Smith. He wasn't even expected to play this year. But with Miles Rice going down with cancer and, right. and then Deshaun Jackson not playing at all this year at this point. Turf toe injury to Yaki. How's that not a foul? Here comes UCLA, Tiger. Whoa. Oh. The train going. Hotchez barrels it. Offensive foul. Offensive Send him the foul. other way. Wow. Mick Cronin is beside himself. Cannot believe it. They sure liked it at the other end. Hotchez couldn't believe the call. Mick Cronin echoes. And uh, this is a big time effort by Jaime Hawkins. It's also a big time call by the referee. Yeah, trailing the play. So yeah, he, Robin was out. He was outside the arm. Yeah, but the, the left arm, the clear out by Jaime. That's yeah. an automatic call. Mm -hmm. Bruins pressuring the ball, seeing if the Cougars have enough ball handling capability. This crowd is great here today. Ooh, Mullins didn't go off the floor and gives it to Gay. He's having a big start, seven and five now at the beginning for Muhammad Gay. This is the best I've ever seen Muhammad Gay play. And, you know, he's become a double double machine. I'm not the biggest fan of the double double. I know a lot of guys who woke up with a double double. <laughs> yes. I'm sitting next to one. <laughs> well, I was lucky. Kenneth Nupa, by the way, also came in for Bona. The thing that I would think UCLA would like to do. Gay picked up a quick foul. I think they might go back at him to try to get a second. Great defense. TJ Bamba. Yes. James Mullins. Mullins in. And there's the follow and Gay again. Yes. And now Mick Cronin is really he's, he's going to go to Mac ATN to try to slow down Muhammad Gay here. But Muhammad Gay, he, he is just looking so Fantastic in the way he runs the floor, attacks the rim. Singleton and Singleton into score. So David Singleton, who's a double figure scorer this year, has been coming off the bench but gets the start tonight in the absence of Bailey. The analytics for Washington State was you got to guard Singleton on the perimeter. There are the, the rest of the guys you don't have to. Jay Bonds, wow. a former Washington State Player of the Year, who was a big-time recruit, ended up going to St. St. Mary's. Mary's for two years, playing for Randy Bennett. How long has Randy Some, Bennett been at St. Mary's? A long time. That, well, there's Tiger hitting a three for UCLA. So the... I think the Washington State making some threes early, and you were talking about their experience in Hawaii, Bill, their last game on Christmas Day. They lost to Utah State, and Utah State didn't miss. And, uh, they so, made 11 threes in that game. I'm told that by the numbers, I'm not up to speed on Utah State, but I'm told that by the numbers, Utah State has the best offense in all of college basketball. Mm. And the people that told me that, I trust them and believe them. <laughs> okay. Great ball movement by the Bruins. And the miss there by Singleton. The people that would differ with that right now are in Arizona because according to Ken Palm, which has become the go-to, Arizona ranks number one in the country. Points per possession is how you basically break it down as Rodman drives it and scores it. Boy, Washington State, this doesn't look like a team struggling to score. Not at all. Yeah, wow. But in, in some of the games, you know, they lost two of the games. They won the first yeah. game in, in Diamond Head and then lost twice. Great defense. The, ro the rotation here. The Cougars are playing Clark. a very smart game. Clark gets the foul call. We'll get us to another timeout. Another timeout. Good. More old Trapper. Cougars roaring here. Ball movement. TJ Rodman. DJ, excuse me. TJ playing the. Purdue's when they start playing UConn when they start playing Arizona you know, is a Dembona and is Kenneth Nuba and Mac Etienne going to be able to get it done and right now those three big men for Mick Cronin they are getting their hats handed to them by Mo Gay who's sitting on the bench right now that's a good break for the Bruins 
but this guy who's coming in to take his place a drame jean also from senegal but a full year and a half younger than mohammed gay here's a press for the bruins right. the rebound and advantage so far 12 to 5 for the cougars John setting the high screen for Winsu and Mullins. Look at, look John. at John. And then he brought the ball down and it was wrestled away. And that's Will McClendon who came in out of the timeout for UCLA. Did a good job there. So the rotation in the backcourt. You know, Mick Cronin going with two little guards, Will McClendon and Tiger. And we have yet to see Dylan Andrews, who from where I sit. And the way my eyes see things, Dylan Andrews, that guy can really play. As fast as can be, as skilled as can be. No need to front Jaime Hawkins down there if you're a Drame Jean. You've got four inches on him. Clark. Yaki. Well short, yep, Yakimovsky. Uh, UCLA has four baskets so far. We played ten and a half minutes. The Cougars have been the vastly superior team to this point. Question is, can they sustain? The ball movement sets it up. That was precisely what the Cougs want. Get get that clean look at a three. I mean, calling for the lob. Great post entry pass by Tiger. And a good dish, and it back, Yaki. Yakamaski recovers the block at the end. The pride of North Macedonia. Whoa. Oh, how that's about that screen, and Mullins takes advantage. Jabe. How many guys named Jabe? Do you know? John, none. <laughs> Jabe is Hebrew for pain at birth. Ooh. Which I, which I pretty much think that's what you're feeling right here sitting next to me today. <laughs> yeah. Great play, Jay Mullins. Snoqualmie, Washington, right up there in the mountains of the pass, heading to Seattle. Ooh. Tiger Campbell you flashed. Been to, have you been to Snoqualmie Falls? Nope, and Mullins nails it, and the Cougs have a 10-point lead. And that's going to get Mick Cronin to stop it. Now, this is what we hope for every single night in the Conference of Champions. Guys coming out and playing fantastic ball. And the raucous crowd, just an awesome support. Pullman, yeah, the role with an honor roll last year and on track to graduate from Washington State in three years. So he's from North Macedonia, right? And he was playing in the lower level leagues of Eastern Europe. And John Andrushek, the international recruiter for the Cougars, he was in Romania scouting a tournament. And he sees this guy, Yakamaski, and he says, Come on, come to Washington State. He says, Where's that? What is that? And so they brought him here for his recruiting trip on the weekend that they retired Clay Thompson's number. When the place was packed, good time. And Steph Curry and, yeah. and uh, Clay Thompson flew in on a private jet, and, and Yaki said, Well, this looks like a good spot for me. North Macedonia, just north of Greece. Yahakas following. Boy, well, you see, I can't put the ball in the basket. Although Hakas has drawn a couple of fouls here. It's funny, I was asking uh, Darren Spino, the longtime yeah. assistant with Mick Cronin, was asking him, what, what's been the best part this year? Do you see how the team he said passing? So he thinks it's the best passing team we've had since we, the Mick Cronin team, has been in place. UCLA has zero assists right now because they only have four baskets. Which was a concern of mine from the very first night when we played Sacramento, when UCLA played yeah. Sacramento State. And in the early games, when Jalen Clark was just setting a, just a phenomenal, ferocious pace, and it, it looked like some of the other guys were, were being a little jealous of, of, of what Jalen was doing. And, but they have picked up their game and elevated it. They have now re reverted to playing a selfless game. Congratulations to the coaching staff for keeping things focused on what the goal is. You see this press. UCLA, 4 out of 20 from the floor right now, but 9 for 9 at the foul line. That's the save. Score. Somebody has to flash into the middle for the Cougars. Come on. It's like they're looking for some deer out in the lowest hills. Hawk has defended nicely there. Hawk has kept that ball from going into Gay. Yaki will get it up. And he has to. 
Didn't hit the rim, did he? And Bona back in the game got a piece of the rebound. Good to see Will McClendon moving so freely. And even though he's wearing that big brace for the ACL surgery that he had a couple years ago. Campbell with a miss. Boy, UCLA just cannot Great defense, make a shot. Yep. You know, and let's give the credit yeah. to Zach Margolis, the, the great strength and conditioning coach for the Cougars. Also, Larry Jones, their fabulous trainer. And Gay just squares up on Bona. Muhammad Gay now 11 points and 6 rebounds already. And then Shea, the nutritionist who the staff was raving about, and she was passing out the smoothies after the afternoon practice today. And I was able to go. I was just gonna. Ah, there you go. What was the flavor? Uh, strawberry. And it was fantastic. And the food at the Black Cypress last night. We'll be there again tonight after the game. We will. Ah, I can't. The just so everything wrong. Kyle Smith's got six, seven guys playing really well right now. And a silly foul by a damn Bona. I was just going to say, one of the few good things that Bona has done so far until then, but here's the gay shot. Now, these two guys played against each other every day in practice. And Bona was the first string player, and Mo Gay was the second string player. And so, Mohamed Gay, who, who's showing no fear whatsoever about going head to head against a damn Bona. That was the first foul of the game on Bona, and you said it was kind of an un Again, unnecessary one. There's, there's, there's yeah, the rebound right there. Yeah. So back to finish on Bona, that's one of the things that's been obvious to everybody watching UCLA is that Bona's the classic young big guy trying to learn how to play without fouling. And, and UCLA admits it's still a work in progress. Well, the journey of a damn Bona. Born in Nigeria. His mom takes him to Turkey for five years to try to get a, a, a little bit better life going and uh, more exposure to basketball. Two years in Istanbul, three years in Ismar on the southern coast of Turkey. Jalen Clark is too good. Always in the correct position. Look at immediately Washington State running a second guy to get Hawkes to get rid of it. And then Singleton hits. That's Bruin basketball. Yes. Find David Singleton. There's the first assist of the half. I'm only, again, just the fifth made basket by UCLA. When you find yourself in times of trouble, get the ball to David Singleton on a wide open three. Let it nice. be. Yaki. There you go, Yakamaski. Now, have you been to North Macedonia? <laughs> I knew that was coming. I've been close because it borders Greece. Right. I've been to Greece for the Olympics, but not to North Macedonia. I've been there. I hope we get a chance to hear that story before the Black Cypress. <laughs> Look at the, at the explosive jumping ability of these Cougars. Hawkins has had a bunch of shots just right at the basket. Can't get anything down on this first Beautiful half. Beautiful post-entry pass that time. Now Gay going at Kenneth Nuba. Rinsu looking real good. Give him some space. Screen away and a foul here on Kenneth yeah. Nuba. Punch. I have not been to Senegal, although they're going to have the first, the fourth Youth Olympics in 2026, the first first Olympics in Africa. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then I've been to France, I've been to North Macedonia, and I've been to the Dominican Republic. And with the way that basketball in the NBA is, ex is expanding into Africa, with basketball without borders, basketball Africa League, BAL, and then the... NBA Academy, which is in Senegal as well. The ten percent number you reference, that's staggering. I would not I would not have known that. I would not have thought that. So I'm also gonna say that I, I'm not hundred percent sure of this number, but I'm gonna say it's almost almost thirty three percent of international Boy, players. Great oh, wow. run and a block is called as well, so it's an and one. Clark delivered the bounce to Bona, and TJ Baum is called for the block. T.J. Bama is so good as a basketball player, as a human being, there's no, there's no reason for him to try to be taking charges on a big Sidney Wicks type player running the floor. I mean, you got to make the decision to get out of his way. Yeah, exactly. And Bama was on the restricted arc line, so guaranteed call, and Bona trying to make it a three-point play. 
Have you been to Izmir, southern Turkey? No, nope. a resort city that uh, a damn bonus spent three years of his life there. Beautiful, big yeah. city. I could be White Lotus season three. <laughs> Sounds like it. You lost me there. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Bomba, I've sat in a White Lotus before. Wow. Let me get Lori to get you streaming on White Lotus. You'll enjoy it. Okay. Hockey is present to wrap oh, offensive, offensive foul. foul. And that one is going to get the UCLA side. They can rob and sold that. I, I don't think Let's so. See. Let's see. Yeah. DJ, DJ Rodman, he played spectacular basketball. I mean, that's just a shoulder to the yeah. sternum. You know, Jaime Hawkins, that guy is tough and fierce. Hawkins is, and Rodman has taken a couple so far in this first half. Everybody is intent on getting all the way to the basket. You know, Mohamed Gay has said, don't, don't bring that stuff in here. And the little guys all fell down there, Jay Mullins. So Jay question. Mullins has got a baseball playing brother who played here. Isaac was a big star. Well, Hawkins is sitting with two fouls, and that's yeah, maybe the fall. rest of the half. And Mullins, because that's what UCLA's hope would be, because they've shot so poorly in the half. Can they, if they can stay in range by halftime, they have to think it'll be a, a turnaround in the second. But Hawkins is sitting right now with two. The Cougars have been the better team. They have earned this lead. Can the Bruins do something about it and get some momentum going? Clark goes over the top to Bona, who can't finish. Great intimidation by Gay. Oh, and a guard entry were, by Clark, though, huh? Yeah, but the guards for Washington State who were coming from the weak side, they don't want to go up in the air to make those plays. Strip down low, leave the up in the air place for Mohamed Gay. And reach, reach in there. That's going to be on McClendon. Ball movement. Kyle Smith has guards that can shoot, guards that can pass and defend. They've got size. They're in tremendous shape. The Cougars are roaring right here. Ah, ah. See, seems like the Bruins are hibernating. Lewis and Clark came right through here. You talk about the Rome of the northwest here rome has seven hills and the river they've got four hills here they've got college hill military pioneer sunnyside the palouse river comes right through goes up to colfax and meets another river before they all go into the state before that goes into the columbia what a place this is you ever been to joseph you ever been to halfway turn over that Passing lanes, deflection, steal. That's what UCLA specializes in. The Cougs get him there. And this last two and a half, Tiger Campbell back on the floor for UCLA, but Hawkins is still out. That's how many fouls on Hawkins? Hawkins has two. This is uh, these last two and a half for UCLA to stay within striking distance. But the confidence, the confidence yeah. that the Cougars are playing with last night. Kyle Smith, he showed the team a movie. This is a team that re revels in its camaraderie and team spirit here. Showed the movie American Underdog, the Kurt Warner story. The guys were seriously moved in that emotional, uh, heart-wrenching movie. So that's going to become the new Rudy then, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> Kurt Warner, what a story. I know, exactly. Cougars defense here, T.J. Bamba, the anticipation. And then everybody running the lane, and nobody's going to catch wind soon. Have you been to have, have you been to Malouse, France? On, on the no, that, that's eastern that's side that's of France, yes. over right, no, the not. Rhine River and the German Switzerland border, over by Stuttgart, over by Strasbourg. Beautiful. So the Singleton story this year. Yeah. And again, it's funny, Kyle Smith today, it's a great way of putting things simply, he said, look, UCLA defensively is so good, they attack the ball. He said, if they turn you over, you really have no chance. If they don't turn you over as much, we'll have a fighting chance. And there's going to be an offensive oh. foul on Gay, and that's his second. And Kyle Smith has got to be careful with the one tease. Assistant coaches are under well aware of that, and the staff just pulled him back. He didn't like this. Everybody's determination 
to get all the way to the rim. Yeah. There's a little late yeah. slide there by Singleton. Yeah, but Frank's a great guy. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to argue yeah. with Frank's call. So. so that's the second foul on Gay. He picked up the first foul in the first minute. But what about that staff over there? John An Andershek, Jim Shaw, Wayne Hunter, Steve Frankowski, Derek Robel, Anthony Lorenzo. Kyle Smith has put together. Yeah, Jim Shaw's staff. been around a long time. This conference a long time. There's, well, Bona had that ball, didn't hold it. And it will come back into UCLA. The way that the perimeter guys for the Cougars are coming in and helping Gay in the basket area, guys like Justin Powell, Jay Mullins, Yaki, doing a great job. We haven't even seen Dylan Darling here yet. The high-scoring freshman comes down from Spokane, broke all of Adam Morrison's high school scoring records. It's interesting. Also, Jay Mullins has played much more in this half than. Justin Powell. The two, two, both of them. Are, well, everybody, everybody today feels like a transfer. But anyway, there's a block and a foul on Washington State. So it's going to get UCLA to the line, and this foul line is what's keeping UCLA in range here. They remarkably are shooting 21 percent for the first half. But this is exactly how you win ball games for, for Washington State. You have eight, nine guys all playing well at the same time. And uh, the Bruins don't have that right now. You got David Singleton who's going to make a shot here and there. Jalen Clark has not had the impact. Tiger is not in control. Bone has been in foul trouble. The stars have all been on the Cougars. And this yeah. great crowd here with the band and a huge spirit section for Pat Chun, a fantastic athletic director who came by to say hello before the game tonight. Always good to see Pat. When, when you're being pressed, you have to attack. If you just barely beat the time clock and then just have to reset to get going again, you're going to have a hard time winning the game. All right, Jong here against Bona gives it up, deflected that yeah. last touch. Bamba, deflection no, and that is, if there's a word that the UCLA people will tell you about Jalen Clark, who leads the conference and steals, they'll say deflections, and there was another one. And he does that all the time. Yeah. I mean, he's just so quick, and the way he's up on his toes constantly, a sense of anticipation, and he's fearless. He is not concerned about getting beat back door. And the Cougars are making a mistake by trying to run everything through Jean right now. It should be Bamba, Yaki, Jabe. And how about that? Who thought before the year that in a late clock possession like that, that Jalen Clark would be the go-to guy for points? Well, I've been hoping for that yeah. for years. And he was in the shadow of so many people. Bruins just supplying the NBA with an endless supply of new talent and the changeover. But yeah, this Bruin team has, you know, three big offensive weapons. Tiger, Jaime Hawkins, and now Jalen Clark. And this is a big possession for UCLA. They're going to stop, but instead it's going to be a foul. Yakumovsky got whacked upside the head as he went up. UCLA will likely get a ball down the court here in 10 seconds. But here again, this is late clock, and it's Jalen Clark taking it. Well, the ability to beat someone who's bigger, longer, quicker, the jump higher, off the dribble, going left, and still scoring his face, that is an incredible accomplishment. And that's the development of Jalen Clark. Got to meet his parents after the last Bruin home game that we did, Ted. That was fantastic. But speaking of the Bruin, you know, Bruins lost two family members this past week and the last couple of weeks. Beth Moore, basketball player of the 78 Women's Championship team, she passed away just Wednesday, just two days ago. And then Billy Murray, the great coach, yeah. she passed away in mid-December. So. Barbara Walters passing away yeah, today. today. Pelé passing away yeah. yesterday. All right, so here's the last uh, possession for UCLA. But the good thing for the so, Bruins is it's under 10 no matter what. Right, but the Cougars should be pressing the ball, make them take time off the clock, getting it up the court. Oh, great screen there to get Campbell to three. That was Bona who cleared it out. Too easy. And here comes your Wing Su's oh. shot. And look, that just, just, missed. just missed. Exactly. Well, I'm going to say this is a classic thing. Washington State, Bill, you said it. Much better team the entire half. Here's UCLA going up the floor saying we were terrible. I, I was. 
<laughs> I was. <laughs> I used to. Like, you can say I that about. I was a little bit like Steve Buscemi and Big Lebowski. I used to. I'm throwing rocks tonight. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. another story. Here, here we, we go. go. Justin Powell so, got to have a big yeah. second half here. Powell picked up a third foul late in the first half, so he did not play much in the first half. Hawkes on the floor for the Bruins. No field goals in the first half. Rodman taking it in. Wild for it. But there you no go. No shot clock reset. Yep, it didn't hit iron. Not sure if they've seen that no. or not. The bench let him know. So Baba sees it. And a step back almost went. Why are you going one on one against the best defensive player in the country? Please move the ball. All their best plays for the Cougars have been with ball movement. And it's interesting that. Hawkes is again being guarded by Yakomovsky. He's been as bonus Send blocked. it back, Rodman. Rodman. Move the ball. Whoa. Not even close for Justin Powell, who's a big time player. But Gay got another rebound and another chance. Not the start that Kyle Smith wants. This Bruin team, they are very skilled and very experienced coming back from being behind. Tiger Campbell can't get it in on the floor, but loose ball again to Washington State. Yaki, anticipation. He's playing like John Havlicek out there. You know, you, I was going to say that about Yakimovsky, Bill. You're watching tonight, you know, there's the tendency to think about guys, the European, the Eastern European guys as shooters. This guy's defending Hawkes tonight. He's doing it well. Well, the pitch for Kyle Smith to get these guys to come here is that you're going to play in the Conference of Champions and you're not going to sit on the bench. You come here to Washington State and you're going to play. Great. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, that yeah. is a tough call yeah. there. That is a Gay tough over. Call. He just called over yeah. the top of yeah. him. Of Hawkes. Please. So that is. What? How many on? That's three on Gay. I was going to say, that's why Kyle Smith's shaking his head, because that's three on his best player right now. He's jumping. He just jumped over the top of that's him. A tough, that's a tough foul. Was the, and Del Dre and Frank are two of the yeah. best that we have at the Conference of Champions. Space the floor if you're the Cougars. Don't try to make something happen off your own dribble. And there's the two-pointer, so that goes against the analytics. But Yakimovsky drilled it. A big star in Kentucky for high school prospect Kentucky. Went down to Auburn, played for Bruce Pearl, then went up to Tennessee and played for Rick Barnes, and now he's here. How many colleges did you go to? <laughs> Powell's first points, I said Yakimovsky. <laughs> Campbell hits it for Tigers UCLA. Just too pa good. Powell is a modern-day basketball player. Washington State is the sixth school he's been at in seven years. Three, no high, three high schools and three colleges now. <laughs> How does that, how can that be? That's, he's not the only guy like that. He looks like a fine player. He's been highly regarded. That's why Auburn and Bruce Pearl grabbed him coming out of high school. Uh, Bruce Pearl's got it going there at Auburn. They sell out every home game. Things are starting to switch and go the Bruins' way right now. With Gay and foul trouble with three. And Kyle Smith staying with Gay, though, it tells you something. I would do the same. This is your chance to win a huge game. The Cougars have owned the Bruins here in this city, in this building. Ooh, Gay just didn't secure that. Lost as he fell out of bounds. Now they're going to take Gay out, heading towards the timeout zone. It's so Rame Jean. When they make this, this substitution to Jean, don't try to. Okay, here's this. Cougars have won the last two home yeah. games against the Bruins here, and five of the last seven. Singleton with a pass. He's too good, too smart. And Hawkins is blocked inside and a foul. Now everything right. changes when Gay goes to the middle. Little trivia question. Last yeah. time UCLA won here, who was the coach? Uh, Easily forgot. January of 2019. A big win in the Murray Bartow.
Oh, you're talking about the coach for the Bruins. The last time oh, the I was thinking of the coach here. for the I'm Cougars. Sorry, no, the last time the Bruins won here, it was Murray Bartow, interim coach. So these top players, Hotez, who took over after here. the Liberty Fiat. Exactly. With Paulie Pavilion. But David Singleton oh. and Kenneth Nuba were in that game. They are the two guys from UCLA that are here tonight that have actually won here. 2019 seems like yesterday. <laughs> What's Murray doing now? I don't know. I talked to Tom Bartow the other day. Oh, he's still working the, all the action in St. Louis. But Murray lives in Las Vegas. I see the Cougars right into the right hands. There. And Hawkes couldn't handle it going up. And a foul was called. Hawkes could not secure the ball. And they're going to call foul on Campbell of UCLA. Things are falling apart for the yeah, Cougars right now. Is. The Bruins are... Uh, <laughs> now that's called a steal. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what Jamal Wilkes would do. He's intercept the ball with his chest. But the Bruins are pushing up, and the Cougars are shriveling back. And you're not going to win, even if you're playing at home, by doing that. Well, here's Jalen right Clark behind. again. Boy, Jalen Clark, that's just, just classic. Going in, Singleton, Rodman cut off the shot. Great ball movement for now the Bruins. Now he's got the clean look. And Singleton Beautiful. drains it. And UCLA has come back to tie the game. The Bruins scored the first five points tonight. They have not led since. And Rodman scored barely. That stops a seven-point Bruin run. And that run coincided with Mo Gay going to the bench and that cheap third foul on him. That's the kind of stuff that'll make a coach pull his hair out. I don't know what my excuse is with my hair. <laughs> Well, here's Clark in, and on the tip out, Nuba, Hawkins, somebody it, pick it up. The Cougars finally, did not get a defensive uh, rebound. Frank steps in and says, let's jump the hell ball, and UCLA will keep it out of the break. Bruins are surging, coming right back. They're celebrating their teammate Jack Seidler's 19th birthday today, and Jalen Clark is stealing every ball. And then... He doesn't want the shot himself, so he's going to find Singleton. Cougars are just falling down right now. The Bruins are right back in this. All things pointing to the Bruins' big second half right now. And what are the Cougars going to be able to do about it? They've lost their leader. Gay, three fouls, third one cheap as could be. Now somebody's got to establish order for Kyle Smith and his fine young team here. Wins to win the game for Washington State out of the timeout as is Mullins. Block and shot. Wins. John. John blocks it. Fourth block for the Cougs tonight. Over to Kyle and Mullins to John. All right. Finally, something for the Cougar Royalists to cheer about here. Other than George Raveling's banner being hung up there. Clay Thompson, Steve Padakis, who sadly passed away quite a few years ago in Italy. He's younger than we are. Here's UCLA, and we're playing now five minutes into the second half. Jaime Hawkins does not, still does not have a field goal tonight. Points from the foul line only. Great defense. The Cougars, they have to believe that their game is good enough. The Bruins are surging right now. Just the sense that the Cougars are, are, are feeling this pressure. Who's going to be able to put the Bruins back on their heel? But Jalen Clark is just denying T.J. Bamba even possession of the ball. One's no long rebound. That was calmly for Singleton. UCLA has seven steals tonight. That's to the ten Washington State turnovers. Singleton personifies calmness. Yeah, the majesty of calmness. Did you ever read that? No. That was one of Coach Wooden's favorites. There's Hawkes' first field goal. I may has not been able to have his usual impact in the paint area. Not the biggest, strongest guy, not the best leaper. But his determination, his persistence, his perseverance, and his willingness to put his body on the line. 
has been able to get to the foul line six times. That was his scoring until the main basket. Great defense single. Rodman. Wow. Well, this has uh, been a big plus tonight. A little more offense from Rodman for the Cougs. DJ Rodman, this is the best I've ever seen him play. I mean, he's, he's just taking it right to David Singleton. You ever seen his sister Trinity play soccer? No. Oh, my God. He's going to be on the Women's World Cup team. He's going to be in Australia and New Zealand this coming spring. She was here for a year. Didn't really play while she was here. I think it was the COVID year. So the, when they started up again after COVID, she just said, I'm, I'm going straight to the new w, NWSL. Have you been to any of those games? No. Oh, that's fantastic. Team in San Diego, right? Right, they have a team in San Diego to wave. They play at yeah. the new Snapdragon Stadium. Can't believe that they didn't have the Holiday Bowl at Snapdragon. I know they had it at Petco. But I was uh, surprised first by that. First football myself. game ever at Petco. Yeah, great comeback win there for Oregon in the final minutes. McClendon, after the three-point play for the Cougs, McClendon hits. Adem Bona has come back in for UCLA. So happy to see Will McClendon from Las Vegas get this going after he was seemingly out forever. Oh, this is an adventure. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and Robin got stuck in a really bad place oh, there. Yeah. And Campbell to Clark, and right back are the Bruins within one. And they stay with the press. Rodman caught that ball right where you don't want to catch it. Pinned oh. up in, right against the uh, midcourt line. He seemed to be confused. Yeah. He's trying to get it back here. And Gay comes back in. So Gay got back in the game. So nice move by Kyle Schmidt, yeah. realizing that things were slipping away. Are you allowed to challenge calls at the collegiate level? No. No. Okay. When is that going to happen? I'm not, I'm not eager for that to happen. <laughs> but when they make a really poor one, it impacts the outcome of the game. Oh, you've got to be able to get Gay the ball there. That's wow. right. It's a three and lets loose with a yell. Man, is he feeling it? That's uh, Rodman. Rodman has made threes this year, 27% coming in. So, John Andershek, who's the recruiter here, he was at Dartmouth and he's recruiting DJ Rodman out of Newport Beach. And he said, DJ said, No way to Dartmouth. And then when John Andershek came here with Val Smith, he. he DJ said, yeah, I'll come up there. I'm not going to Dartmouth. Man, this uh, his aggression on offense yeah. will stand. <laughs> if, if DJ Rodman had talked to Gary Vandoy, he said, I'll, I'll go to Dartmouth because that's a cool place. Stepping right back. Yeah, bring it on. Who can play? You can't guard me. DJ Rodman. We'll make this simple. It's time to go and get rewarded for it. Save up to 25 cents per gallon. High school last year, and it's just amazing. It's like Bona. It's like so many big people we see today. His ability to run the floor is frightening. Well, the mobility. Yeah. And the agility. Yes. And, and the grace. And, and the sense that all these guys. What David Stern, who went to Africa in 1993, uh, at the urging of Richard Lapchek with his study of sport and society down now in Orlando. But when they made that first trip down to Africa, basketball without borders, and they made the meeting with Nelson Mandela. And Mandela had just gotten out of prison in 1990, and it was a year before he was elected president of South Africa. And everything has changed, and it's changed for the better. Seven straight Cougar points here. Oh, UCLA needs an answer. But UCLA is, is playing better right and now. And once again, it's Clark that delivers. Washington State, they're teetering on the edge right now. They can't even get the ball in bounds. Winsu has got to attack here without turning the ball over on the dribble. Tiger is so good defensively. Throw it down, Mohamed Gay. There's wow. the roll and a nice feed. McClendon reaching in is called. The Cougars' defense, they played good contained defense, solid, not relying on gimmicks. And just Jalen Clark is going to be an All-America player this year. 
And from what I see, the, he's the defensive player of the year in college basketball, not just Absolutely. in the conference of champions. Look at how it gets so quiet. <laughs> Well, of course, uh, look, all the campuses this weekend are dealing with this, and yeah, everybody's shut down right now. Everybody's on break. Students aren't around. So uh, you're leaning on your locals and diehard fans to be here to get the, to get the spirit going. And the atmosphere and the culture. And Kyle Smith is building that. Whoa. You might want to bring Clay Thompson back for another event. <laughs> it's, it's an annual an annual ceremony honoring Clay Thompson. Wow, well, you really want to be sure to have Steph. Go, just bring, bring your rings. <laughs> <laughs> so what can happen when you play ball here? Great defense, Jay Mullins. It's not related to Chris. Wow. And Campbell got the call. He did the step back and got Winsu up. Tiger been more assertive with his offense this year. This is a veteran move. When you get totally faked out, don't try to recover and make a defensive block. Just get out of the way. Your fouls are so critical. In college basketball, you only get five. You have to assume that they're going to miss at least one or two on you. And Winston going out. I have yet to see Dylan Andrews play in this game. No, he has not been in yet. Singleton has three fouls for UCLA. Powell and Gay have three for the Cougars. And just a reminder, is the Cougars can't even get the ball inbound or up the court. Somebody's got a flash to the middle for your Washington State. Ooh, baseball pass, but Rodman, wow. That's he the kind of play the Cougars need. That was something. That was running. And boy, to, on first glance, I thought he ran about four steps, but apparently not. Basketball is a game that you have to be willing to take a risk. But the play may not work. Great shot. Hawkes. Everybody peeled away, and he had the elbow jumper. So right now, UCLA has a, an offensive threat sitting. Singleton with a three fouls. Gay playing with three. You have to attack this press. The Brewers have a great press. As great a press as there is at the conference of champions. Bona. Send it back. That was too easy for Bona. Hawkins in. Hawkins finishes. And it's a three-point game again. Bruins are searching. And the Cougars are cowering right now. And nobody's able to step up and make make an assertive play that's going to put the Bruins back on their heels. And you're not going to do it by playing one-on-one -on -one against Jalen Clark. Whoa, the Steve Nash great circle route. Was he the best at that? Yes. He was really good at Whoa, oh my God. Rodman, stay hot, Rodman. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, who's got aspirations to be a broadcaster. Good luck, DJ. DJ Rodman has 19 tonight. Well, what a gift. His game dominated the first half. Rodman has taken over in the second. And the other guy who we highlighted, uh, T.J. Bamba, has uh, not been at his best. Nobody can get a rebound Ooh. for the Cougars. Good job by Campbell. That was real nice. Tiger is so good. So crafty. But could not get the second shot down. You know, push the ball, Jay Mullins. you got to get this thing moving and get the Bruins off you. Make them pay for extending their defense. The high pick and roll. It's the staple offense for Washington State, as it is for many right now. I prefer movement without the ball. I prefer screens away from the ball. Back cuts. Gay going at Bona. No, but look at Gay got the ball back. Wow. Great. Under eight now, so in a timeout zone at the next whistle. That ball is like a yo-yo in Tiger's hand. Yeah. And he can just do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Hawkins just taking it. Traveling. Oh, land. Yeah, dragged it. And that'll get us to a timeout. Wow. Rodman on fire here. The volcanic eruption here in the land of volcanoes. All this volcanic dust, which makes this farmland so fertile. The Missoula floods coming through. We're having volcanoes and floods on the Palouse. Attention, date members. You're connecting flight. Wild. They would throw hot pennies if they heated up. 
with their cigarette lighters. Oh, that's nice. and, <laughs> and then, well, when Greg Lee yeah. went to shoot the first free throw of the game, the entire student section dropped their pants, turned around, and bent over to Greg. <laughs> Greg was still able somehow, some way to make the free throw. Full and moon, over the, full moon over the Palouse. Yes. <laughs> and it was just, the, it was so incredible. We had so much fun. Well, tonight, you saw a few students here trying to provide, but what a night this could be for Washington State. Whoa! There's a big step as Powell buries a three. And Great. now, as we come close to seven minutes, the Cougars have the lead back to nine. Justin Powell, good, close family friend of Rick Patino there. Country boy from Prospect, Kentucky. Have you been there? No, and so now what offensive, offensive foul, foul. Good this, this is starting to slip a little bit for UCLA. And we're hitting, we're gonna go under seven minutes here at nine points. And the biggest challenge for the Cougars, who have been the better team tonight, is that they cannot start thinking about the clock. They gotta just keep attacking, keep running, keep pushing, they're filing. Finally, Dylan Andrews comes into the lineup. Yeah, first appearance. Bona is back for UCLA. Nuba is out, and Tiger Campbell is out. Yeah. Will McClendon getting extended time. And the big guards for Kyle Smith have been effective. Throw it down. There you go. The, this is John. Roll as John blocked by Bona. Bring it out and get it to a and guard. Andrews, that's going to be a foul on Rodman as he tackled Andrews. So these Cougars have had trouble when Mogay goes to the bench. And Wajong is a very promising talent. He's not Mogay right now. And so Washington State has to change their offense, their offensive scheme, and just let Jong throw it down in the basket area from the weak side. And get Rodman and Bamba and Mullins, Yaki, Powell to make all the offensive plays in the strong side. But now UCLA's in a spot where they have to get offense. And there's a start with Hawkeyes scoring. I mean, UCLA and UConn are the only two teams in the country as of tonight that are in the top ten in the country of both offensive and defensive efficiency. UConn okay, has seen the, that tonight for UCLA. UConn is the best team that I've seen in college basketball this year. They had a very tough game at home against Villanova. Villanova was not very good. Offensive, offensive foul. foul and Rodman. Well, now the Bruins Bonus with a score. Offensive foul, get a chance to score here and suddenly again resuscitate. The way the Bruins can play both ends of the court and the way they've played in so many close games. That, by the way, that's the fourth, and that's why Rodman getting a huge hand as he goes out. Kyle Smith's going to protect him for a short bit. Campbell's right back in the game for UCLA. I wouldn't leave Rodman on the bench for more than a minute. And right to Hawkes. And Hawkes goes inside on Yakimovsky. So Hawkes. And the Bruins just come right away with the press. And the hesitancy that the Cougars are showing against this press has really hurt them tonight. Ooh, almost a turn right there. Great pressure defense by the Bruins. Up on their toes. Gay was going to set a screen, but backed off. Mullins can't Not a get good it. offensive set here for the Cougars. So Bamba will have to do it. And That's great defense by great Singleton. And boy, a rebound. Well, that might be the best rebound tonight by Bona. That was strong. But Bona is raw. He's not a polished player. He, he's got unlimited potential. Under five. Cougars by five. Hawkes steps in and he scored two straight baskets. Now he will get to the foul line. Just working him right now. And that step through move by Jaime Hawkes is so effective. I mean, he's not going to jump over anybody. He's not going to push anybody out of the way. Excellent footwork. Jalen Clark is at the table to come back in, so that's going to get, for UCLA, we will get their starting five tonight back on the floor here for the final five minutes. Again, Amari Bailey not playing tonight, foot injury. You mentioned everything closed down for the holidays here. Sadly, the Coug, the 
favorite yes. evening lounge yes. here in downtown Pullman where everybody can live, work, and play in the exact same confines. The Cougars is closed right now for the holidays. But the roost was open for coffee and, and nice. pastries in the morning. Beautiful stroke by Jaime Hawkins. Right. Pressure player. Six, six straight Hawk has points. So this Bruin team, they thrive on pressure. And the champions, that's what they do. They want that pressure. They want the responsibility. And who's going to show that for Kyle Smith's Cougars? Right now, Rodman is back in the game for Washington State. He's their top scorer tonight with 19. Don't try to do yeah. too much here, Mojave. Just bring it back out and we shut it Now the clock's winding down. And game missing, but there's Bamba for the putback. Two shots at the basket. Things UCLA are, with the ball. Things are falling apart for the Cougars. And the defense that the Bruins have shown on TJ Bamba tonight. And Bamba, he's a all-conference level play, player. Step okay, through Hawkins. a little again. Wow, right there and hit it off the back iron. And then a foul is going to be called on UCLA. Foul is on Bona. In the low post here, the double team comes. And Mohamed Gay, when he comes over there, he's so big. I mean, he's got he's two inches taller than I am. And I was talking to him in practice today. Keep your shoulders, excuse me, keep your hands at your shoulder height. Preferably right at the height of the ball. When you stand there and put your hands straight up in the air, and the guy's got the ball down in his triple threat position, you are helpless defensively. Big time stroke there by Mo Gay. That's a big swing here. Hawk is right at the basket, but ball hit off the back iron, and Gay fouled on the rebound. You know who else was on that high school team at Prolific Prep with Bona and Gay? Nate Biddle. Oh, well, all on the same high yeah. school team. They took Rodman out, by the way, to protect him because we're heading into a timeout zone. So they took him out here on defense. You have to be able to play defense without that. If you don't have the discipline to do that, you, you can't be the champion. You can't win the big games. Campbell hits the... What a touch. Good what a shine. Mind. I mean, that's Steve Nash right there. Yeah. The giant, you know, just the littlest guy in the court taking on the biggest guy and say, oh, take this out of the net. It's in your face. Love Tiger Campbell. Very jealous of his hair, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, late clock now. Mullins with the ball. Whoa. Mullins. Come on. And now UCLA with a chance, potentially could tie on this trip. But Tiger's going in. But the change of pace, change in direction of Tiger Campbell is superb. Hawkeyes. Boy, a good stroke there, but missed it. Kyle Smith going with the double twin power attack here. Keep Jean on the weak side. And, and do something to try to get T.J. Bamba a good open look. But Jalen Clark has completely taken him out. Into Gay. Blocked. Hawkeyes. No reset. Gay goes back. No. Punched out. Singleton. And that's going to be out of bounds back to Washington State. The Cougars side screaming there that there was no foul called. That's and a great uh, no call. Yeah. Washington State doesn't think so. But they will get the ball when we come back. Right. This is a heck of a last 227 ahead. Conference of champions on full display. Nothing like it. Try to take something away from your own individual defensive accomplishments. This crowd coming alive here. But right now it's got to be offense here for these Cougars. Washington State has led this game since the first two minutes. They're trying to see if they go almost wire to wire. But they appear to be pulling it back a lot, Ted. As opposed to just stepping to the front and saying, Whoa. I'm going to tell you how it's going to be. Instead, David Singleton with his calm, poised, 
majesty of calmness. Nick, Nick Cronin is going to call a timeout he has, here. Has three, so he's going to use one here. It's a ninth steal. That was an easy one for UCLA, but their ninth steal of the night. To, yeah. to have built the campus. Now they need to make some baskets to try to get this uh, most unlikely uh, victories against the number eight ranked Bruins, who have won eight in a row and eight dominated row. their opponents. And by the way, the other big player tonight, Muhammad Gay, 16 points and a career high 17 rebounds. Well, he's making a he's making a push and play right here for an All Conference of Champions player. But who can play defense for the Cougars? Because this, this Bruin team will continue to score offensively. There's the ball movement. And Singleton not, steps in to hit a two. Winsu cannot go for that pump fake. Right. What is that? Please. Stay down. Now here we go. One point game, 90 seconds. Can the Bruins play any defense here? What will be the offensive scheme? And that switch Singleton has Gay inside. Can they get it to Muhammad? They're trying. There it goes. And Hawkes. Oh. How is that? And then a foul. foul. Now the foul comes. The first one was a foul. Yeah. <laughs> got, got him right on the arm. You see, like I caught a switch there, and that's what it took Washington State a few seconds, but finally able to get to Gay against Singleton. David Singleton, a superb player, team leader, first one to every event, meeting, practice, meal, you name it. David Singleton, you know, he's the heart and soul and the moral compass of this Bruin team. But he cannot guard Muhammad Gay in the paint. I'm impressed by the physical fitness level of Muhammad Gay. He's a big, long-ranging guy, very young. Just a sophomore in college here. Makes both free throws effortlessly. 18 and 17. Does not, 18 see, 18. Does there not shown there. any signs of fatigue. And he's been in on every play from the opening tip. Send it back. Oh, and no. Hawkins couldn't get it down. But Bona saves the ball. Where are the guards for the Cougars? Please get a long rebound, will you? We're in the final minute. And UCLA can't afford empty trip. Foul here, Bamba. It's on the floor, so it'll be a one and one. Kyle Smith has decided. So, but Jaime Hawkins did a beautiful thing, just ripping that ball right through the pressure defense. When the guy gets up on you and starts reaching like that, just rip the ball right through him. And that's exactly what the great, the great offensive yeah. players. You know, they, they just know when the player is already committed. The defender. Initiate the contact to get to the free throw line. I mean, Huck is talk, a great free throw. Shooter. You talk about doing things in a difficult way, and certainly it's not been pretty. If Hawkins makes his foul shot, he's 20th point tonight. He was scoreless until I know. He was scoreless until there were 10 minutes to go in the game. Yeah. I'm saying it is it, hardly been pretty, but at the end of the day, you look, he's 20 and 8 right now. <laughs> okay. Now, can the Cougars even get the ball over the half court? Please. TJ Bamba, as good a player as he is, he just has not been Ooh. able to break away from yeah. Jalen Clark. Winsu came too close there to the midcourt line. Kyle Smith Kyle saw that too, and too I think he said timeout. Winsu got perilously close to touching the midcourt line. So, timeout for Washington State at 37 seconds, and now this message from John. At some point, this would qualify because they've been trailing. They trailed this game for 37 and a half minutes. Only two losses this year. Illinois, the first one in Las Vegas. Bruins were way ahead in the second half and then just fell apart down the stretch. And then Baylor. Baylor's a, you know, incredibly good team and program. Can Washington State play offense here and get something good enough to go in the hit in the rim? Hawkins is on Rodman, Terrible has pass. deflected, and UCLA now has the chance, lobbing it to Bona. Blocked yeah. inside, goal, goal 10, and UCLA has its first lead since the first two minutes of the game. Terrible offense. Granted, the Bruins are a terrific defensive team, but you have to be able to pass the guy, pass the ball to somebody who's open, and that ball off the glass. Easy play to call. 
and nice patience by a damn boner. A year from now, to this game. Cougars lost their first two conference games, the early games in December. UCLA won theirs. The Bruins have an eight-game winning streak and a high national ranking at stake right here in the last 20 seconds. Utah's at the top of the standings. There was, uh, USC's there as well. They won again tonight in Seattle. Bamba going in. Now they're Jalen again. Clark. Double. Gives it back to Gay inside. Knocked away. Jaquez. Saved. Last desperation. Rodman. No. And UCLA somehow wins. Wow. Elation for the Bruins. They wake up out of hybrid.